Now, my name is Fadira. If you're joining me for the very first time, I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family. For my returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate God bless you. If you're new to this channel, I create content on how you can migrate to the UK, jobs with visa sponsorship in the UK, UK immigration updates, live in the UK, everything you can think about the UK. So if you're so always interested in such contents, do hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload a new video, you're definitely going to be the very first person to see that video. So guys, let's quickly dive right into today's video. In today's video, I'll be sharing care homes currently recreating with visa sponsorship, just as you can see on my screen, luxury care. So this is a care home that they've got different branches in the UK. So if you're looking for a care job with visa sponsorship, this is not even a, a new company. They've been in existence for the past 20 years. I actually read a lot about them before filming this video. And I really hope and wish you find that your dream job from here so as you can see on my screen below we've explored some of the many ways our care homes set themselves apart from the rest keep reading to find out where among the highest rated care facility in south just as you can see on my screen this is a big organization to be honest because they've got different locations so you never can tell the one that we work for you i would just say get in touch with them they've got their contact they've got the application form everything you need to know as we go through this video i'm going to show them to you step by step so meet our team as you can see delivering exceptional care is about modern expertise it's about having a team that is unified compassionate and respectful so as you can see our dementia care Care careers. We are currently on the lookout for friendly and unbeat individuals to fill various roles in our team, including day and night carers, care team leaders, management, well being team, domestic assistance, kitchen positions, maintenance. But um, trust me, most of the kitchen positions and the maintenance positions, I don't think they can sponsor you to work with them. So we are committed to fostering a culture of excellence and we strive to create a dynamic and fulfilling workplace environment that will inspire you to push beyond your limits and grow both personally and professionally click below or forward your cv to info at luxurycare.co.uk to apply so you can send your cv just as you can see and also they've got application form i will also show you if that works better for you you can take out time to fill out the application form to make things easy for you so as you can see they've got various homes that's why i said you guys should take advantage of this opportunity sending your cv at the same time you can even call them because i know a lot of people are stranded in the uk right now and are looking for new sponsorship so just as you can see want to join our team the aging population of england and wales is rising faster than ever in 2021 over 11 million people that's 18.6 percent of the total population were aged 65 years or older compared with 16.4 percent in 2011 as the population continues to shift towards an older age range the demand for quality care homes is rapidly increasing you can see that this is why the government set out this pathway to bring carers from overseas to care for people in the uk and a lot of people have come back to me to say oh fadria we heard that the care um visa is going to stop guys it's not stopping yet luxury care home owns and manages some of the highest rated care homes in dorset with six homes located across po and Beaumont. so like i earlier mentioned that they've got various locations so even if you don't get a position in location a possibly you could get in location b so for those who have been worried and have inboxed me to say fajira we heard that this care worker visa is going to end it's going to come to an end guys people are aging daily in the uk and the care sectors still need people from overseas to work even if i'm aware that some criminals have opened some care homes just to take money from people and don't give them the job yes because they do not have any packages but when you meet a genuine care organization that have got service users and good packages you don't even have to struggle to look for hours i've met a, a lot of people that have migrated to the uk recently 
who are even complaining that they work almost tirelessly on a weekly basis because they've got so much clients and so much service users to cover. So please, when looking for a job, kindly look out for those ones that you will not experience any of this. Do we sponsor health and care visa? As you can see, the health and care worker visa is designed for medical professionals who wish to work in an eligible job with the nhs or the nhs supplier or other social care in the uk at our homes we have individual sponsor license that allows us to grant a certificate of sponsorship to eligible applicants who meet our regulatory employment checks we understand that moving to the uk or changing a visa status can be a challenging process so we will be here to provide guidance and support throughout your entire journey just as you can see that they said they will be here to provide every necessary support you would need during the process. So this is to say they are also recruiting from overseas and also you can switch your sponsorship. So what we pay, we offer full-time contracts of 36, 42 and 48 hours per week, along with overtime opportunities for individuals interested in career or healthcare assistant positions. The starting pay rate for those roles is £10.42 per hour gross or contracts are for a minimum of three years with the possibility of renewal based on performance. So, however, if you're going to be recruited from overseas, the minimum payment is £10.75 because with £10.75 or £20,960, you are eligible to apply for a care worker visa from overseas. So what you pay, we've partnered with Aston Burke Solicitors, a reputable legal firm based in London to assist with the visa application process. They assist us with the legal work and home office process. The recruitment process typically takes about 12 weeks from the initial interview to final selection. We are committed to a fair and thorough process and we provide feedback to all candidates regardless of the outcome. So like they have said on the website that they have uh, solicitors that do the visa applications. Guys, please do your own independent research and thorough research and get in touch with them if it is something you fancy. How to apply, as you can see on the website, forward your CV to info at lawsrycare.co.uk and they also have an application form you can complete yourself. But as you can see on my screen, they've got various care homes. They've got various care homes, just as you can see, different locations. Like I earlier mentioned that if location A does not work for you, maybe location B will work for you. But I will also advise you ring them personally to make all your inquiries so they will be able to answer your questions because I do not work for them. I just do my own research and share the opportunities for you guys to take advantage of. The next on my list is Hope at Hand Care Home. They're currently looking for care workers, just as you can see on my screen. Recruitment, if you have a passion for supporting others and pride yourself on delivery and outstanding service, then Hope at Hand is for you. I would leave the link in the description box just go to their recruitment. I would say click on the recruitment and you will see the international recruitment, the personal and professional development of our brilliant staff members in the primary healthcare. So read as much as you know you can read and equip yourself about them. Please, guys, don't just send in a, an application without going through their website to read and understand and see if it's an organization you want to work in. I know a lot of people are really desperate to move to the UK or to change their sponsorship and they don't really care to read about the organization. But please, I would advise you take out some time, read, call them on their phone, ask more questions you want to ask before sending in your application. However, they've got the application form. It is really lengthy, but if you can take out time to complete the form and hopefully they will get back to you. As you can see on my screen, there are so many questions you will need to answer. Please fill out the form or call them, like I said, and find out more about the organization and their recruitment process. So guys, we've actually come to the end of this video and I wish you good luck in your job search. And also I wish you good luck in the interview process. And please do like and also share this video with your friends and loved ones. Someone may benefit from it. And until I see you in my next video, do take care and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now and thank you very much for watching.